everyone, Meg here from I Teach Stamping and today we are talking about tips to enhance your stamp apparatus. So you can use it exactly the way it comes out of the box, but I found some tips that helped me out and so I definitely wanted to get these shared with you. So we're not gonna really be making anything today, we're just gonna go over some enhancing tips. So first off, let's talk about the magnets on the back. I have had every stamp platform out there that there has been so far and um, luckily, <laughs> I can say with 100% honesty, the stamp apparatus is my favorite. Whew, thank goodness, right? Uh, one of the things I like best about it is that the bar magnets are, well, that they're bars. They're not the circles. So you get more real estate coverage with them being bars. The only thing is uh, they're a little bit tricky to get out, especially for those of us that like to buy our fingernails. They're a little bit more tricky to get out. And so a quick fix with that is just to take some washi tape, wrap it around, stick it to itself, and then you have yourself a handy dandy oh, little handle. I mean, those are strong, strong magnets. Um, they are stored apart from each other on purpose. Don't ever let them touch. Do everything you can to not let them touch. In fact, I have found that really I only use one at a time just so that they don't. What happens when they touch since they are so strong? A lot of times they're breaking when you go to pull them apart. So most of the time you're only going to need one magnet anyway. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take one out because we're going to need it here in a bit. Let's go over here. So I just have one plate on, but here's the second plate here. Um, and we have our, our foam mat. So you want to use this anytime you're using a photopolymer clear stamp. Um, because somewhere in your stamping equation, this is how you remember this, you always have to have foam. Somewhere in your stamping equation. So with a wood block stamp, you have the wood, you have the foam, and then you have the rubber. With a clear mount stamp with red rubber, you have an acrylic block, you have your foam, and then you have your red rubber. With photopolymer, you just have photopolymer or acrylic stamps, you just have this stamp. So somewhere in your equation needs to be a layer of foam. And it doesn't matter where in the equation, that's the best part. Um, so I love having the grid right here but, and you can wipe off this grid surface and that's all fine and dandy. However, when I go to do this, I lose my grid and I'm a grid paper kind of person. So that's what we're gonna talk about next. So what I recommend that you do is grab your grid paper. So I'm using Stampin' Up! grid paper. You can just use even just graph paper if that's what you have. One of the reasons I like the Stampin' Up! one the best is because it's got the ruler on both sides, which is gonna come in extremely handy. So what you wanna do is take it, Actually, let me bring that back in. I keep moving it aside, I'm not done with it. And take it and cut at the seven inch mark uh, at the top and on the right hand side. And then trim off the excess, which will be about a quarter of an inch that you don't need from the line of your ruler to the edge of that white. Once you've done that, then you're going to want to laminate it. Now, if you do not have a laminator, don't worry about it, don't go buy one. Uh, I'm going to give you a solution, don't worry. But you want to laminate it, and once you're done laminating it, it's going to look like this. So now we have a wipeable surface. Um, I would take my paper trimmer again and trim off the excess right to the edge of that grid paper. Okay. Um, so now, once we do that, we have solved this problem, and we have our grid paper. Uh, one of the issues that people are struggling with this with the stamp press, and I understand, I, I get it, is that if you are not using the mat, there's a lot of height for these big hinges, and so if you try to stamp over here, let me lift this up. See that gap? We have no gap here, and we have a gap here. So. Why, what does Stampin' Up! say about it? They say stamp in the middle. It was designed for you to stamp in the middle. But especially for those of us that were Stampin' Magic, and I still have mine, I'm not getting rid of it, uh, we like things to go up in the corner. I, I don't, I don't want to always have to use a magnet. I want to just be able to put it up in the corner. They're saying, that's why we gave you magnets. Put it in the middle. Um, so we're going to fix this corner issue really cheap, really fast. Sound good? So here's what I recommend you get. A giant package of vent covers. So I got these at Home Depot. They were right about $5. There's three sheets. Um, depending on how you want to do it, you either need one sheet or you need one and a half sheets. It just depends on how thick you want your mat to be. So less than five bucks. Okay, now what you don't want to use is your paper trimmer to cut through this. Trust me on this. 
I tried the first time. So if you don't have a really big paper cutter, and if you don't have a laminator, this is where it's all gonna come together, you wanna take this to your local um, Office Depot, Kinko FedEx, things like that, and for next to nothing, they will cut these down. You just have to give them the measurements, and the measurements you wanna cut them to is seven and three eighths by seven and three eighths. Um, they'll get that cut for you. Uh, and then they can also laminate your grid paper for you. So they have no palm cut and magnets. I went and personally asked just to make sure. So um, anyway, there's that. So why magnets? Why magnets? I'm so glad you asked. Um, especially with some of the other, other stamping platforms that are out there. Once you added a mat, your magnet doesn't stick like that. Okay. Now I think, see how hard it, I mean, like you gotta, okay. Now watch the difference. I can pick that up easily. To me, it still holds fine, but sometimes if you want a little bit extra hold, those you if you want that height anyway, why not go with something that's magnetic? So I have, um, my grid paper that I laminated and I went ahead and stuck it to the back of one of them of my mag, uh, my vent covers. So I'm going to take another one and stick it together. So I'm not going to keep these stuck together because I still might want to use the foam, but now I want you to watch this. Did you hear it that time? I get it. You can't hear when it's on a foam mat, but it's also hard to pick up. So it's just going to strengthen that hold a little bit more. And then again, depending on if you're using this or you're not, you can have two, you can have three of the magnet covers, doesn't matter, stack them up, put it up into the corner, and now you can take your stamp and go to town. So another quick tip to go along with this is this right here. So this is the new Simply Chamois, and I'm keeping it in a clear mount stamp case. You can buy them in a set of four. So anyway, it just stays in there. I never use this Stamparatus without this. So this is always around is what I'm getting at. I don't like when I go to, okay, so let's say I'm gonna get this all placed up, especially with my red rubber ones. I think they're a little bit harder. You can't see through them and I don't like to use the labels on the back. So especially having my laminated grid paper, I can wipe off and make sure I've got the right position. So if I think that that's where I want it, I'm gonna close that over. As I closed it over, see how I've got some give? Guess what? It's because my mat's in there. I don't need that. I already have foam right here. There we go. So it's, it's got give, but it's not sticking up like this anymore. All right, so we have this in place. My grid paper's not gonna move because it's a magnet stuck to a magnet stuck to a magnet. Yay! I'm gonna take my uh, my little ink spot, and I am finding that I like the ink spots better with the stamp apparatus. Um, you don't have to, but then I'm not getting ink everywhere. It's just a cleaner process. Um, and so you can get these uninked in the new Stampin' Up! catalog. So remember this is my laminated grid paper. Flip it over, stamp. Okay, and I can say, well, you know what? Actually, surprisingly, it's pretty gosh darn straight. So for me, I would go with that. But if I needed to adjust it, now would be the time. But did you notice what happened when I was inking this up? See how that plate is bending? For some reason, that just annoys me. So I said my Simply Chamois is always laying around. If you'll put that box right underneath it, look, ta-da! So it's not an extra supply to have out because you were gonna use it anyway. And then away we go. So then we can put our cardstock into the corner. We can also take our chamois and wipe off that. I really do prefer to use a paper towel, I'll be honest. And then if you wanna use a magnet, you can, but if not, we're gonna stamp and there we go. So some simple tips on how to elevate your Stamparatus. Remember, you don't have to have these things. It just might make it a little bit easier to work with if you find that you're getting frustrated with a little bit of the design of it. So hopefully that helps with the magnets with the washi tape, uh, laminating some grid paper, and then using your vent covers and uh, then a clear mount stamp case underneath your plate as you're inking it up. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's tips. Again, I'm Meg from I Teach Stamping. If you like these tips and you wanna see more, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.